This is Rap the News. Today we are going to learn about the real Christ Jesus. Not Christ crucified in the body of Christ, the Lord of the dead that hijacked the New Testament and some parts of the Old Testament. We ain't talking about that false idol God that was infiltrated into the New Testament and the Old Testament. Today you're going to learn about who Jesus is and what was his purpose. So why did Jesus come? We're going to start with Matthew 15, 24. But he answered and said, I was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Did it say on there anywhere that he's supposed to die for the world? No, that was a lie. Matthew 15, 17. Do not think that I came to do away with or undo the law of Moses or the writing of the prophets. I did not come to destroy the law, but to fulfill the law. He came to do what? Finish the work of the Most High God and the prophets. And he came to who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. So we clear. This one is not sent to the Gentiles or the world or didn't fall out of heaven, you know, with the dragon and everybody else and the woman with the stars up underneath their ass. This one was born of the Virgin Mary. Galatians 3.17 The law which came 430 years afterwards does not annul the covenant previously ratified by God so as to make the promise void. What does it mean? That the law is still in effect like Jesus Christ said. Let's keep going. Romans 15a. Remember that Christ came as a servant to the Jews. No, he came to the whole world. No, he came to who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel to show that God is true to the promise he made to their forefathers, the ancestors, the prophets, the children of Israel. Watch this. So far, it's not saying he came to the world to die for their sin, right? It was added. That's a false God. So we're talking about the real Christ right now. John 4, 34. Jesus said unto them, My job is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. What is that? The promises that he made to the ancestors to fulfill them on the children of Israel, right? To make sure that they get fulfilled. Galatians 3.19 Why then the law? What was its purpose? It was added after the promise to Abraham to reveal to the people their guilt because of transgression. That is to make people conscious of the sinful sins or the sinfulness of sins. And the law was ordained through angels and delivered to Israel by the hand of the mediator. Remember the New Testament was saying it's only one mediator. Yeah, sure. And it said Moses is what? The mediator. So we know that that was a lie, right? Between God and Israel. Not to the world. Listen. It ain't added the world yet, has it? It ain't said nothing about dying for somebody's sins, right? The ungodly, right? It ain't said nothing about coming back from the dead to do the work of the devil, right? It ain't saying that all power is given to me, is it? No. It's a humble prophet going to the lost sheep of the house of Israel to bring them back to the what? The law. To be in effect until the seed would come to whom the promise had been made. Let's keep going. Acts 3.26. We're learning about who? Jesus of Nazareth finally and not it being intertwined with Christ crucified and the body of Satan. When God raised up his servant Jesus, he sent him first to people to the pe you people of Israel to bless you by turning each of you back from your sinful ways. What is sinful? What is sin? Going against the Torah, rejecting the law of the Torah, which is the Most High God's law. So Christ came to do what? He was sent as a servant. For the people of Israel to turn us back to the law. It's right there. Right. He was sent to the seed of promise. 
not to the world. He was sent only unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All these people talking about Jesus and, and the son and all that stuff is worshiping the damn devil. And they don't understand who Christ actually is. Matthew 18, because ain't this Christ totally different from that one? Of course. Matthew 18, 11, For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. And that's the lost tribe of the house of Israel. Is he saying, All power is given to me. All glory is coming to me from my Father. Everybody is under my foot. Everybody must kiss my ass. I'm such a shining light to the world. Everybody know that shining light is Satan. Everybody with sense know. Let's keep going. Leak. Luke, I guess it is leak. Luke twenty four forty nine, and behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem, no, the world, no, in Tarsus, in Tartar, until you be endued with the power from on high. Right. Luke five thirty two. I came not to call the righteous, but to sinner to repentance. Repentance of what? Of going against the Most High God in the Torah. Because what else is sin except for transgression of the law? Keep going. Nobody's here to power hungry, uh, crazy, uh, you know, sociopathic guy, right? They came to bring a fire and turn people against each other and make you hate your mother and daddy so you can be his disciple. You don't hear that shit, do you? That insanity. John 6, 38, For I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. Right? John 4, 2, 22, You worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know. For the salvation is from the Jews. But just not from, it was for. Ephesians 2, 11, Therefore remember that at one time, now it's talking about the Gentiles, you Gentiles in the flesh called the uncircumcision by what is called circumcision. Meaning what? The, the Gentiles are un, uncircumcised, even if they're circumcised. And the Hebrew is circumcised, and that circumcised the heart and body. Romans 9, 8. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God. So the Gentiles is what? In the flesh. This is why Christ crucified came in the flesh. The black Jesus don't have to come in the flesh because he came in the spirit. Who get that? And that's why the book said check and see, check the spirit. And then say check the flesh. The flesh is the damn devil. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God. So I told you in Genesis it says that the Gentiles are what? Not the seed of Adam. Right? But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Right? And that should be it. Jesus preaching the law. So he came to bring the law, right? And so he is going to be saying, Thus says the Lord. Matthew 4.10 Then said Jesus, For it is written. Where is it written? The Torah. Meaning what? Thus says the Lord. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. You ain't serving Christ. You ain't going through the, anybody see any of that madness go through the son to get to the father? No, you ain't going to see that here. It's a clear-cut religion of Christ bringing you back to God like every other prophet did. Not Now they putting some small-minded God in front of your God and saying this is your God. You know, some sissy in a pamper. Matthew 4, 4. Anybody see the crucif crucified that he came to be crucified for the world? That God's going to do such an unjust thing, kill his only begotten son, to save a bunch of damn people who going against him. That's some insanity. Only, only an insane person would want that, a sinner. And what did the book say about sinners? He said they are of the devil. That's why they can't stop sinning. Because he who is of God don't make a living out of sinning. Be he answered and said it is written, which means what? Thus says the Lord. Man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall live on every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Did it say Jesus? Did it say come follow me and be ye my disciples and servants? No, he came to do what? Serve. Who? 
the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The son of man did not come to be served, but to serve. And he said what? Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Matthew 11.10 For this is he of whom it is written. Where? In the Old Testament. Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare a way for you. 1 Peter 1.16 Because it is written, Be holy, for I am holy. The end. So, you ain't going to hear, He died, he rose on the third day. That's called the resurrection of the dead. That's called the crux. That's called false worship. That's called idolatry. There's nowhere in here where Jesus is telling somebody to worship him. That's idolatry. And anybody who's worshiping Jesus Christ, you are committing idolatry, the sin that God says, how can I forgive that one? You joined a God with me. Open your eyes up, man. This is Rap the News.